Hello my friends, welcome to another knitting tutorial. Look at this cute braided basket pattern I'm going to show you today. I love this one, it's super cute. You can see right away, it's not a stretchy pattern, it's a very tight pattern. I have a one by one rib stitch down here and you can see the difference in the elasticity. So keep that in mind when you use this braided basket pattern for one of your projects. Uh, comment below and give me some ideas of what projects we all can use for this braided basket pattern. To cast on, you want to do it in multiple of four and you want to add one edge stitch for each side. So today I will be using a cable needle to help with this pattern. For row number one, you're going to start out with your edge stitch. So knit your edge stitch, and then you want to knit two. One, two. And here is where your pattern repeat starts. You're going to take your cable needle and you're going to slip the next two stitches and you're going to put it in the back of your work. Then you knit the next two stitches Then you go back to the two stitches you have on the cable needle and you knit these two. Okay, and that was your pattern repeat for row number one. And you do this for the rest of your row. This is the end of our row number one. Three stitches left. We'll knit two and knit your edge stitch. Row number two and all alternate rows, you just purl all the way across. Easy peasy. So just purl. I would love for you guys to give me some ideas on what kind of projects I can use this pattern for. Uh, a hat, a sweater, a very nice thick and warm blanket would be nice too. Okay, this is the end of row number two. Oh, this is my edge stitch, I'll knit that stitch. So for row number three, we do the same as we did for row number one, except in reverse. And uh, I'm actually not going to use the cable needle in this situation. I'll show you why. So we're going to do our edge stitch. Okay. And then we go right into the pattern repeat. So before we took the two stitches off onto our cable needle, and we put it in the back of our work. In this row, we'll put these in front of our work. So for me, I can, the way my stitches lay, it's easy for me just to knit the stitches just the way they are. So I knit stitch number three. I knit stitch number four. And then I go back to the front and I knit stitch number one. Okay. 
take only the first one off the needle and then I knit stitch number two and then take all of them off the needle. So you can absolutely use the cable needle um, but knitting in the back of the loop I can actually do it without it. So we knit through the back number three, knit stitch number four, we'll go back to the front, knit number one, take one off the left needle, then knit number two, and then take all the three remaining stitches off the needle. Knit your edge stitch. That was row number three. Row number four is an alternate row. You just purl all the way across. And those were our four rows to create this braided basket pattern. Um, so not very complicated at all. It does take a little bit of time because of the cabling, but the result is super cute. If you've learned something today and you like my tutorial, I would love for you guys to give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. See you later, alligator.